Writing. We're writing all the time. But sometimes you're not as productive as you hoped you would be. So we're going to talk about the G3 of writing tips. Gentle guidelines, great stories, and hopefully, hopefully, gigantic scholarly gains. I'll be helped by my former advisee, Dr. Mena Ju from Wayne State University. And she had gigantic scholarly gains. This was her publications, well, accepted for publications in her first month at Wayne State. Six journal articles. Oh my God. And this can happen to you too. Come to the session. Not only you'll learn about 25 ways to increase your publication success, the writing habits of highly productive people, publications at different stages of your career, tips about academic writing, well, we don't, rewarding your writing, how can you get your name on the publication, writing with a heavy teaching load, the hardest part about writing is restarting, oh, just tons of writing articles are in the Chronicle of Higher Ed, Inside Higher Ed, all the time. You don't need me for that, you don't need Mana for that. What we're gonna do is talk about your writing space a little bit and the places in which you write because some days you just have the blues. You might be wondering why someone would change out of their blue clothes into something pink. Socks included. Well, it's not the pink necessarily, it's the changing because 20 years ago, I was doing workshops at the Wisconsin Distance Teaching and Learning Conference all the time with Vanessa Dennon at Florida State. Every year we'd have Hawaiian clothes to switch in and out of. And so I'm just following the tradition because it's been a while since I've been in Madison for that conference. And I want to try something new. And I hope to meet all of you, and I hope we have a lot of fun together. See you next time in August.